At 530, it's been one month since Broward County hired a permanent superintendent. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez spoke with Dr. Vicki Cartwright about what's ahead, her priorities, and the challenges she's faced. Students first, every time. That's Broward County Superintendent's Dr. Vicki Cartwright's guiding principal. We sat down with her one month after she was officially named the district's permanent superintendent. To my community at large, I'm so grateful for the level of support that you continue to give to our, our students as well as to our staff. Um, I've really been working hard on um, getting out into communities. She and her team have their boots to the ground, as she likes to call it, going out into the community to get the job done, a job she's been doing since July of last year when she was elected interim superintendent. However, now as a permanent superintendent, there is more she could do. As a permanent, at this point in time, I'm now uh, able to go out and recruit some top talent to bring into the organization, as well as top, uh, tap on the shoulders of some of our top talent that's already here in Broward County um, in order to say, hey, I, I want you to think about applying for this job. And there are two key positions to fill, she says, are at the top of her list. Filling the vacancies uh, for the two deputy positions um, and because we have um, a reorganization that we are going to be doing um, for the district. So I am going to be bringing back a plan to the board in May um, in order to look at how are we reorganizing our district level um, positions. She also mentioned the COVID slide among students and staffing shortages is something they are working on and her concern about the so-called don't say gay bill. I'm concerned because what happens now for the children who want to say, hey, you know, I, I identify this way and I'm now identifying as a part of the LGBTQ plus population. How am I going to be treated at school? But above all, she says students and their safety is their top priority. Being able to come in here and really start implementing some out of the box ideas um, in order to help move the organization forward, right? For example, um, we started the school year back in person and we've been able to maintain that throughout the entire year despite the Delta variant, despite the Omicron variant, um, where it was very hard. She also mentioned a proposed referendum she'll be presenting to the board to raise funding to retain teachers and to operate schools. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.